evening, everybody. Good evening. <laughs> How is everybody? Oh. It's uh, lovely to be back with you today for another live demo. It sure is. <laughs> and uh, hope you've all had a, a decent day. Hope the sun's shone for some of you. Hasn't really here today, has it? It's been no, no. very rainy the yeah. last few days here in Wales. That's Wales but, for you. Uh, we're going to bring you something summery tonight, so we're going to be willing the sun to come back, I think, aren't we, Mark? Well, not me personally. <laughs> I will be willing it to come back anyway. Uh, yes, well, yes. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have some bit of fun tonight. A bit of inkiness, a bit of... Um, but something that you can actually use. So, yes, something yeah. very usable. Yes. And very pretty. Yes. So, uh, oh, we have the lovely Eva from our design team with us and Jeanette. Thank you, ladies. Yay. Do comment along. Let us know you're watching, um, maybe where you're from. And uh, perhaps let us know as well... Uh, Maybe where you discovered us, hmm. how long you've been That'd be known one, about it? our stamps. Yeah, hmm. or if you've got any questions. Yes, indeed, questions. I'll be keeping an eye on the comments, so uh, ask away. Maybe we should do a, like a Q&A session as well. Yeah, I reckon. yeah we could do that, one. Should we? we do that, people? Q&A, ask, ask a question and we'll, we'll answer it, possibly. <laughs> as long as it's not too personal. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at what we're going to be using tonight. <sighs> yes, what are we going to be using? Oh, before we start, just um, oh, I can't I can't see with my glasses on sometimes. Sorry, just um, th there we go. Don't forget to subscribe as per normal, and always ring that bell because obviously you're going to get notified every time we drop a new video or going live. Oh, talking about talking about that, mm. there will be a new video pre-recorded going out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Almost finished, isn't it? Yes. It's, it, I, I've, it's all filmed. And edited. Oh, it's all edited too. Yeah, I've got a couple of bits to do Impressed. and put the music on, but we're kind of done with that one. So that's going to go out tomorrow. So uh, nice. keep your eyes peeled for that one. Excellent. <laughs> right. Okay, so shall we, um, let's have a look what we're using tonight. Okay, let me go to the overhead camera now. Oh, where's my overhead gone? Um, I've lost my set. There we go. Overhead. <laughs> right, so... Um, what we're going to do, we have the, um, the butterfly effect, um, stamp set, which is one of my favorites. It's, it's a new release. So this is a gorgeous stamp set, um, large butterfly. We've got this amazing, um, what do you call that? Bubbles? I'd call it either grungy circles or bubbles, yeah, it's whatever, really, really whatever nice. you want them to be really. Um, shall I turn it over? Shall I, mm -hmm. shall I turn it over so everyone can see? What kind of size are these things? Oh, see, good size. So, I mean, that's that's a fairly large butterfly there. We've got this gorgeous kind of grungy kind of background. What did you call, what did you call it before? You've called it something. I just call it a butterfly grunge or a grungy <laughs> edge. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just this, very, very useful stamp. This is those grungy kind of bubbles, and they're very, very useful, not only just for this set, but for lots and lots of stamp sets that you, you've got. Um, and they'll work perfectly with most of ours. And we've got some great words. We've got butterfly um, in a really cool font. We've also got, let me turn that around as well. We've got um, every single thing you do matters. We have one of a kind. We have, if, oh, we have change, and then we also got effect. And then, if I turn it upside down, I'll, I'll read it upside down. It's change one thing, change everything. See, so very, great words. very deep and meaningful. Um, and together tonight, I'm going to use the uh, fiber stencil. This was a last minute change actually, because I was going to use the um, the Rip Fishnet, but we're not using that tonight because I've used that quite a few times. So that's great, that would work great with that. But tonight I'm gonna use this one, which is our fibers, another best selling uh, Yes, definitely stencil. up there in the top best selling stencil. But it's so useful, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah, you can use it for so, so many things. So, um, shall we get started? Yes. Could I just ask you to remove that little box that's hiding the comments, please, Mark? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Helen. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. I can't read what you're uh, saying. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Oh, cold and raining in, raining in the West Midlands, Nola. Hopefully the sun will be back soon. And uh, My Imaginations UK, oh no, I might have to buy the set. That would be a very good choice. Honestly, you won't, uh, you won't regret it. So, uh, yeah, go for it. Um, right. Let's make a start. Oh, we'll, uh, we've got some samples to show at the at end. end. Yes. So I'll I'll do, do a demonstration with it first, and then we shall show some some yes. amazing samples from our design team who are well. 
Fantastic. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So let's make a start. Let's not get to Helen's got a nice kind of white and blue top on today, so I'm gonna try hard not to get her inky. Right, let's put some kitchen roll down. Um piece of white card, always good to start with a piece of white card. And I'm going to now you could use your distress oxide um kind of inks, yes. ink pads. I've got the sprays, so I'm going to be using them for to save time. Um, the kind of colours I've got here are I'm going to I'm going bluish, nice bluey bluey. Um, no, not that one. Um, what kind of colour? Oh, broken china. I'm probably going to use peacock feathers. I'm going to probably use those two. Might use a little bit. That we'll see now. Um, peacock feathers, of course, one of my favourites. Okay, peacock feathers or broken mm. china. Or no, peacock feathers is one oh, of okay. my favourites. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Helen. <laughs> right. Um, quick spritz there with that. Don't have to be too, too um, precise. I like how sometimes these colours kind of react with each other. They're great, aren't they? Mm. Okay. Um, do you know what? I'm going to put in a little bit of... Where's my Mermaid Lagoon? Just for the sake of a bit of blue. Oh, that's hitting the lid off there now. That's right, now, time to do some drying. Oh, Nola hasn't got the, the, stamps, the stamps either. <gasps> Nola. It is a lovely, lovely set. And it works perfectly with, um, well, with most of our stamps as well, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Right, just drying this off. Oh, question. Do you find the oxide sprays get blocked or are they just brilliant? Uh, yes, I've... <laughs> I probably, um, I've been told how to use them properly is that you're supposed to shake them side to side, Jill, and not um, up, and down. up and down. But do you know what? I think it's, it's habit. Everyone does, you know, everyone when they get something, they'll shake it up and down and not kind of side to side. So, you know, I, I shake it up and down. And yes, I do have to unblock it sometimes. But, you know, I try not to uh, get it too blocked, but it does. It does unblock. Very nice sprays though, aren't they? Yes. Of course. So let me just um, let me just move those bits out of the way. There we go. So, thank you, Very Helen. blue. Very blue, blue. It's blue, but it's also got... Touches it's got, of peacock. Though. Yeah. I like that. Now, the thing to do is... Now we're going to bring in a stencil. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to put this over the top. Now these are the six by six stencils and they're 350 micron thickness and that's that's pretty thick for a stencil mm -hmm. um for our us friends um that's i can't remember that's something like for, for, it's something like 14 mil i think that's what they, they say um, very thick is all you need to know yeah very very <laughs> thick yeah so i'm just going in with a a baby wiper or, or you could use a wet towel and just just wipe over the top of your card. Doesn't matter if you don't go to the end, I've got to move it up and then you can carry on. So you just seem to be taking a little bit of the ink off. Now this is, um, it's quite a subtle look, um, but it's very effective, especially when you're doing like stamping on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you don't want this stencil to be the focal point. So let's just get rid of that now. Of course, this stencil looks amazing with texture paste as well. Oh yes, and there's uh, I think I'm sure there's there's loads Same, of yeah. there's a plenty gallery. Of, plenty of samples in the gallery. I mean, it's great for underwater. Mm. It's great. Uh, it makes good fire as well. It does. Yeah, great, really great with good. the phoenix and great yes. with like the jellyfish and the uh, seahorse. Uh, we were hard pressed to decide what we were going to do. We, we were, were going to do we the were. phoenix, weren't we? Maybe we'll do that on Thursday. We've got a great phoenix stamp, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And the sentiments are great as well. So for those of you who don't know, if you find a stamp set or a stencil on our website and have a look below it, when you click on the product image, there'll be a 
oh, loads and loads of inspiration underneath. Often linked to blog posts telling you how they were made. That's very that's so, very uh, useful, if you, isn't it? If you ever wanted some inspiration, head over to our project galleries. Yes, I do that quite often. You do. I do. I get lots of ideas from the design team. Mm, well, so, why uh, not? They're amazing. I think that's that's the whole point, isn't it? You know, you'll see. Oh, I like that idea, and then you just you just make it your own, don't you? I love seeing all the different ways people interpret stamps yeah. as well, and the different ways they use them. Nobody ever does things the same way twice, do they? That's creating some lovely movement there in the background. Well, you can't quite see it. Let me just dry it off a bit. Once it's dried off, it'll appear, appear more. It's funny how it kind of starts to appear, isn't it? Can everyone see it on the screen? Looking good on my iPad screen. Very nice. Alison lost track of time there. That's all right. <laughs> Good evening, Ali. Better late than never, as they say. And Leanne as well. Hi, Leanne. Hello. All right. So, I think we're done with that. It does look very kind of underwater as well, doesn't it? Yeah. You could definitely um, put a jellyfish or a seahorse on there. <laughs> yes. I mean, if you um, just hold that top there, you can just see. There we are. Can you just, can everyone see that? Lovely. Now I'm going to jump to one that's already dried because I'm going to be stamping on top of this one. So I'm going to jump to one that I've already dried. There we go. So pretty, pretty the same. Pretty same kind of colours, not much difference in that. Uh, there we go. You're never going to get the same colour twice. Pop that over to dry and maybe we can pop a seahorse on that one. <laughs> no pressure, Mark. No, not at all. <laughs> yes, I'll, yes, I will do what you I say. I love our seahorse. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay, let's have some fun now. What we're going to do next? Okay, we're going to use, I think I'm going to use the, um, the bubble, these bubbles, these grunge bubbles out of the set. So I'm going to stamp them on hit onto this. Now that this one is dry, dry Excellent. yellow, anyway. Okay, so I've got my clear block. I'm going freehand, freestyle, well not free, quite freestyle, but I'm using a, a block old school uh, and I'm gonna use some Versamark. So let me just get that up. Give it a nice good coating. Yes, it does help. I've, I've actually, you know, I, I do find um, using the uh, Distress Oxides you have to be a little bit more, I don't know what the word is, careful when you're applying your, your you know, your, um, oh, your, your embossing powder to them because they seem to, do, they do absorb a lot of things. So you have to be very careful, that's what I think, more than other other kinds of types of ink. But it's great, they are, the colours look amazing. So I would recommend them. Right, okay, so we're doing that for the first time. Now, could you get my gold, we're going, we're going gold today. Gold. Okay, and so you're going to give us a bit of Spandau Ballet then? No, Mark. there'll be no Spandau Ballet here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so I'll stand that there. Yes, the um, it's it is subtle. I, I must admit, I think I, I, I saw. Did I see somebody do something like this? Not quite. I maybe saw something what our design team do something with these bubbles in gold. I shall have to really look on. on yes, the... I think it might be the lovely alley. Probably. Right. It's a nice colour. That's uh, a wow powder. Yeah, this is the uh, yeah wows. I've, I've actually I only just found this one recently, actually. What's that? Oh, I'm you're looking, looking at for the, the colour. Metallic gold, gold rich. Gold rich, yes. Nice. I quite like that as well. You see how, how sometimes it doesn't pick it up, but that's the, that's the oxides for you. But it's fine because that's exactly the kind of look we're going to go for tonight. It's quite a nice gold as well, isn't it? It is, lovely. A very bright gold. This was your idea, wasn't it, Helen? Didn't you 
you say, oh, are you wanted gold bubble slurt? I thought it would be a change, because last time you used it, you did white, so... Yes. I did put in a little request. Okay. So, I'll just lift that all to... This sh would look nice with a mermaid as well. Just see how very subtle that is. Now, I'm going to go in again, but the opposite way around, and it's going to go cascade up, up the card as well. Lovely. And that's what you can do with this, this stamp, is like, turn it, and it can go t completely mm -hmm. different. Right. Next, what's everybody been doing tonight? Anything exciting? Tonight, today. Today, sorry. <laughs> football. I presume everyone's been watching football or football or tennis. Tennis is on, isn't it? I don't think football's been on today. We haven't watched much tennis either, have we? No, sadly. But what we have watched was very exciting, mm. wasn't it? I do love a bit of Wimbledon. Yeah, you used to be a, a very. Um, Prolific player, I would say. Would you say you played Prolific. a lot? Played a lot. <laughs> I used to play a lot of tennis. Yes. Yeah. You were in a tennis. Would you say? Would I've you call it team? My local team. Yes. Yeah, team. Yeah, team tennis. Yeah. Till I got a injured knee. Yes. I am. Um, you got me into playing tennis, or tried to. A little bit. Yeah. Well, I don't think I was very good though. Did <laughs> no you beat com me? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure, or did I beat you really? Mm. Do you think I beat you? Nope. You don't? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Shall we talk about that afterwards? <laughs> Are you sure I didn't beat you? Yeah. Maybe. Did I let you win, maybe? <sighs> no. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, Jeanette, no sports whatsoever here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there's no football or rugby in this house, is there? No. It's lots of ink. Ah, yeah. Can I have that? Thank you. You may. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days today. It's been very busy, but you know, sometimes you don't. You feel as though sometimes you don't achieve an awful lot, or or it doesn't seem like you do, but obviously we do. Nice. Go. Oh, I've got a job for you then. Yes, I can pop that away, no problem. Thank you, Helen. Still like gold. Embossing is great, isn't it? walk in the woods today with the grandkids oh, and nice. got mobbed by 30 to 40 squirrels. Wow. <laughs> mobbed? Loving the monkey nuts. That must have been amazing to see. I like squirrels. They're so clever. I love the way they balance. Your mum has loads of squirrels, doesn't mm, she? She does. Okay. That's looking lovely, Mark. Thank you. In fact, I bet your mum's watching, isn't she? I bet she is. I'm not sure. Hello, mummy. <laughs> right, okay, so yeah, I think we're looking. Was it? No, it was yesterday you went to see your mum, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't get the chance, sorry. Right, oh, there we go, look at that. The light is reflecting off it superbly, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, okay. gorgeous. So I'm going to put that to one side just for a second because now the next thing I want to do is I want to stamp and emboss the butterfly. So we'll it's a very next. big butterfly, this one. Yes, this is quite... an a, A5 set, so it's a very big butterfly. Yes, it's yeah. a good, good size, the size it's of your nice. hand. So, yeah. Right, let me put this, this to one side. I shall get my stamping platform. And, okay. And I've already got a piece of card, or inky card, that I've already spritzed once before. These are like offcuts. That are, you can see these are bits of offcuts. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing, nothing complicated there. I'm just going to stamp it and emboss it in gold as, as well. Nice colours. Oh, right, thank you. Um, where did I put my reverse on that? Oh, there, there you go. You stole it. <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm tidying up. <laughs> Can't help myself. Well done. Yeah, the, the um, everybody loves a butterfly, don't they? You know, when you're sending cards to somebody, it's, it's a go-to. I would yeah. think it's probably the go-to um, image. Image, yeah. You, can, you know, if you do it well, it's going to look amazing, isn't it? 
Right, plenty, plenty of uh, Bursa Mark on there. I'll probably need the gold again in a minute, Helen. Okie dokie. There we go. Jeanette's been busy creating with this set for her design team posts. Ooh. And uh, Jill's been making a birthday card with our stamps today. I will have some more, although you Excellent. can't see. You can never see Versa, Versa Mark. I wish, um, I wish they'd have Versa Mark in the kind of like, you know, those kind of colours that kind of dry clear. It maybe be a different colour and then it would dry clear. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? But it doesn't really matter. Right. There we go. Joys of a stamping platform. Yes, it's always a good idea, especially on a large, on a large image. Okay, let's take that off. And we should have a gorgeous image. Let's move that out of the way. Um, thank you, Helen. There we go. I think this gold's going to look lovely on that colour. Yeah. You see, um, it's been, it has been very wet, but it's very humid as well, isn't it? It's like, mm, oh. It is warm. And it's warmer in the studio because we've got all the lights on as well. There we go. Gorgeous. So can I sw the swap? swap? I say swap. It's, I'm not swapping anything. I'm just giving nope, you. Just passing it to me. <laughs> I've been uh, embossing butterflies all day, I think. That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's got the lovely touches of grungy numbers and text on the, uh, on the wings. And that will work seamlessly with a lot of our other sets as well. Especially like things like the Creative Chaos stamp set. Um, there's, there's loads on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there we go. Let me just get everyone to see how amazing that is. Right, how does that look? Can everybody see that? Looking good on my screen. There. I mean, of it course, reflects. Of everybody's a few seconds behind us. So. It, it reflects a lot of the light. <laughs> it does. Right, so what we want to do now is we want to cut one out. So, I've pre-cut one out already there we go and that's how it looks when it's cut Lovely. now what we want to do is we're going to bring back the um, the background and we're going to be using that on here but first I want to do a little bit more on this background uh, what we're going to do is I did have another butterfly what did I do with another butterfly oh I don't think it's um, what, a cut-out butterfly? Yeah, it was a, a big, little one. It was a big cut-out butterfly. I was just going to show some, a, a different variation. That's okay, it doesn't matter. I don't need it. Um, there. So that's how that's going to look, I think. Let me just do it there. There we go. That's better. You can see that. So we're going to have that butterfly something like that. Um, but I'm going to, I've got some of the pieces as well which I want to use. Um, I have some random cogs little um, trinket embellishments now these weren't actually this color they were kind of uh, if I turn it over they're kind of like really kind of bright gold um, and they weren't the same color as the gold embossing powder so all I did was put Versamark on these as well and cover them with the embossing powder nice and that's how you tie them with their identical color so we're gonna probably put a few of those on there as well you see excellent do you like that idea? I do like that idea okay cool I only found those recently. I was like, I was as you find things when you tidy up. So I found them when I was tidying up. So I thought I'd use them. Okay. Um, what I will do is I want to I want to do something. I'll do a bit more to the background. I'll then I shall do something to the um, butterfly, and then we'll um, we'll stick it all together. Okie dokie. Okay. Um, so for the back for the background. Um, Right. Oh, I was going to use some. Helen suggested I use some. So I tell you what, I need to probably better off sticking it down first before I play around with it. What do you reckon? I don't know because I have no idea what you're doing. Mm, okay. Um, okay. Nor do I. Right. 
Let's have a look. What are you doing with your bracket for Are you doing some more stamping or what, what do you want? I think, yeah, so I should think of do some more stamping, but I might be able to get away with it if I put it onto my background. I'm going to use possibly one of these, the other stamps uh, from the set, and I might just do some freestyle stamping, which is I'm going to use this one here, which is a big stamp, isn't it? It's quite a big stamp, it's that one there. So it's a great stamp, that one. So I might do that as well. Um, just trying to think of what colour, what colour do you, would you like, Helen? Do you think white? Mm -hmm. White would look nice. Okay, shall we go? Keep I'm... it nice and light and summery. Okay. Will that sunshine to come back? <laughs> Is that right? Okay. I'm going to use some um, acrylic white. Paint? Paint, yes, acrylic white paint. I don't have a white ink pad. Well, I do, but I'm not using it. Um, and let me just um, spread that out a little bit. that out a bit a little bit and I'm going to do some freestyle stamping with those um, just put that into there a little bit more a little bit more there of course when you're paint stamping with paint you need to make sure you wash them quickly afterwards yes need more than that there right um, How are we looking? Can we see that? Yeah? Yes, no. Everyone's a few minutes behind. Oh, That's sorry. Like a few seconds, well, minutes behind. All right. Do you know what? I need to spritz it with some water. I've got some mm. water there. It's quite thick, isn't it? It's quite thick. And it dries so quickly as well. Right. Sometimes it's not the best to use this. We'll see now. I actually quite like that. Very subtle. I don't want it because I don't want it to detract from the from the foreground too much. There. Right. What I've got to do? I don't like that. We'll put it to one side. Oh, look at my hands already okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some i'm going to use some i'm going to stick this on to my card first and then we'll do some more but i'll find that'll be easier for me um some glue oh it never ever you make sure you unblock it but it never ever stays unblocked <laughs> Well, Mark's gluing that down. I've got a little question for you guys. Where do you like seeing all your inspiration for the stamps and uh, for your crafting? Do you love Instagram? Do you love Facebook? Pinterest? Let us know your favourite. Or maybe yeah. it's a Facebook group. Of course, come and join our Facebook group if you haven't already. Yeah, it'd be great to see you. Got to get busy making our ATCs this week, Mark. Oh, crikey, yeah. We've joined the Artist Trading Card Swap in the Visible Image group, so... Uh, we need to get those maiden sent off this week. You've nearly finished yours, haven't you? <laughs> uh, I haven't started. I can't have I. remember the last time I even crafted. Nor have I. Oh dear. I must. Um, Maybe I must... a job for the weekend. Yes. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to it. You are. So am I. Don't even. Uh, don't often get a chance to make anything. No. Myself, do I? No, and it would be nice to you know to up the uh, up the game a bit. And do you know what? Blue. blue. Have I got in what colour is this one? This is a sea blue. I might be able to use a bit of that as well. Was this an ink tense pencil? Yeah, I'm gonna go over some of these colours. Just just add some shade around those. You can't see that yet, but once I add some water. Bring that to life. What brush should I use? Not that one. I want a better brush. Um, I did have a better brush a minute ago. Where did I put my brush? Aha! Let's use this one. Just bring some water into the equation.
concentrating. Adding some depth to these with the with the shading. Why is it getting wide on our wax brush? Just want the brushes. Brush in this friend. <laughs> Change the brush. Yeah, if it doesn't, if you don't like it, swap it. Sometimes it's just ink doesn't want to play, but a little bit more there. So I'm just I'm just highlighting the 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 bottom um, portion of the spheres or circles to make them more three dimensional. Now you just go in and add more water as you go. Mm -hmm. Can everybody see that? My head's not in the way, so let me just. No, don't think so. want to go in with that colour and obviously you're going to take a lot more time than I will doing this and you see how the oxide inks absorb some a lot as well at the same time how's that looking now is that looking more more dimensional mm -hmm. I do love blue and gold. Sorry, everybody. I mean, this is one of those these things that you, you take your time doing. Um, and I'm actually sitting down now. I've, I've had to grab a seat because I can't, I can't, it's hard to do it standing up. <laughs> so, I think I need my eyes tested again, Helen. I need some extra strong ones, especially like for looking at things from a distance. Mm. Sometimes you just can't see. So Nola's asking about the ATC swap. All you need to do is be a member of our Facebook group. Um, July is obviously all uh, underway at the moment, but Jane will be releasing details for August in the next uh, week or so, I would think. So you just need to uh, comment on Jane's post saying that you'd like to join in. It's all very clear. There's a file in the file section of the group as well telling you how it works. You can choose whether to um, just send within the UK or you can send internationally. Oh, wow. And it's, uh, it's lots and lots of fun. So just uh, join the Facebook group and uh, look out for the announcement about the next challenge, which will be for August. Oh, wow. And uh, we choose a theme and then uh, it's go, go, go. Make a lovely ET ATC and send it off to your partner. Jane uh, puts everybody together in partners. Lots yeah. of work goes into it, but it's uh, well worth it. I feel under pressure now <laughs> with the ATC swap. I've got to come up with something really good. No pressure. It's all just fun, isn't it? I suppose so, yeah. Shall I, how many more shall I do? Should I do a couple more? Yeah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. A couple more? Yeah. Um, I'm sure you'll be playing with this later anyway, finishing it off to perfection. Yeah. <laughs> you can never spend as much time on these things as you want to when it's a live demo. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, I suppose some people, you know, it's, not, it's nice to do, but it's not maybe not so nice to watch for long periods of time. So especially when you're doing things like taking time, colouring in stuff. Um, I can understand that. I would like, just fast forward. <laughs> but you can't, can you? Only on playback. Oh, make me go quicker. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't have a button to speed mark up, unfortunately, guys. <laughs> is that your dream, is it? I don't know if anybody's got these ink tent pencils. They're quite good. They're kind of water soluble, but they're quite um, they're quite powerful in in terms of pigment. Uh, you can get a good colour on them as well. They come in lots of colours. I think you bought me these, didn't you? I think I did. I think it was a birthday present. 
Leon and Jill said they both wear Vera Focal's glasses for oh. uh, but uh, it's no good when you're trying to stick something down straight. <laughs> Vera Focal's. Do they have the bits? I don't know. Do they have lines in them where where you know where you look through, or or are they just kind of like I don't know. I know what's the difference between Vera Focal's and Bifocal's? No idea. So I'm, so I'm, the optometrist in the group will tell me tell me now. I don't know what the difference is. I know my dad's got bifocals, but he's got lines that go through them, and I, I don't think I could wear something like that because you have to look through the bottom part, portion of the glass, of the glasses. Mm. So they'd be no good if you like, you know, on your computer. No. So. Sorry, Helen. Is this taking taking way too long? Is it? Tell me if I should. Um, should go th- a bit faster. <laughs> Very therapeutic to do when you're doing it yourself, I think. Yeah. You can just play and play, can't you, till you're happy. Yeah. And I know Mark will go back in with this later on and, uh, and add some more where you want to. Yeah. For demo purposes, you get the idea. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go back in with that. Now you can see where it's gonna go when I finish shading in the rest of those pieces there. That looks gonna look really cool. Um, but I will go over some of these now. With let's have a look. So um, the thing I want to do is I want to place that and know where that's gonna go. So I'm gonna use some of the um, this is the Stardust Ice Stickles. Uh, is it ice stickles or just stickles? I don't know. What, what. Is there anything called ice stickles or is no, it called? No, it's just called stickles by Ranger. Ranger's the brand, stickles is the name. Why do I call it ice stickles then? No idea. The <sighs> colour is the colour of this one is Stardust. Come out. It's the first bottle I picked up. Oh. It's coming. Oh, you can see go. it. Right. Oh, I have to remember. I've got to put some of these on as well. Should we put some? I need to put some of these on, Helen. I've got some of these really cool ones to put on, so um, I've got some really nice ones. How about that bit? Well, let's get some glue. Um, shall I do 3D glue? That'll mm-hmm. be quicker, won't it? Right. Be stuck nice and tight if you use your 3D glue gel. So. Don't want them falling off. And these just happen to be the exact same size as well, so. That should look quite good with that there now, won't it? Ah, there is such a thing as ice stickles, Ali says. Oh, okay. They were large bottles with big chunks of glitter in them. Oh, right, so, okay. So, you're not going mad. No, but it's not <laughs> It's not the same thing though, is it? No. Um, do I have any more pieces? One, two, three, oh, I've got a few odd ones there. Um, I don't want too many everywhere. Um, but that one there, does that fit there with that? I don't want to hide it, you see. Um, trying to place. I'm more fingers and thumbs today, Helen. Right. But I'm sure I can't just zoom well, out. You don't so. want to hide it, definitely. Yeah. This would be, could be could end up a bit of crafty oaky here in a minute. All right, okay. Well, I think we're happy with I think it's going to go somewhere like that there. If I use another one of those there, I put that there. Yeah, that looks better. Like that, okay. Mm-hmm. When do we get there? Right. I don't know what I dropped there, don't worry. Okay. Probably just a lid. Yeah. Right. How does that look? going to go there oh don't hide that it's going to go somewhere like that butterfly's going to go yep, there yeah that's better yeah actually looks like it's uh, fl- fluttering up to the moon do you oh, think right. that top right one looks a bit like the moon it does a bit yeah it does to me um i've got still got two more there should i put one there and one now yeah it's quite cute or down oh, what's that one there like that do you reckon? Yes, Make a no. decision. Get the glue. Commit to it. Okay. 
for all the planning that was involved in this today, it never goes according to plan. You've been busy though, haven't you? I have. I've been sharing lots of lovely design team makes today. Ah. On the blog, in the galleries, on Instagram, Facebook. Now yeah, that's looking better, isn't it? Nice. Just adds that kind of mechanical feel to the card, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, what I will do, I've got some, I will use some stickers. I haven't used that yet, have I? Um, I will do some, I will, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use some, I've got some of my Posca pens. Um, not that one, right. some of these. Actually I'll stick it on first. Plenty of 3D glue on this and if you do it raised as well so it'll look um, as though it's flying. My cards are always so cool. I'm not sure about that but I'll do, I, I do try. Um, Ooh, camera's gone all blurry there, Mark. Oh, sorry. There we go. Let me just zoom in that just a little bit there. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Right. I think we're... Yep. It's look good. What, like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. I've got some sentiments as well to put on as well. So... Right, we'll leave that there like that. Um, using a this is a white Posca pen. Um, can I have a piece of black card here? If this is going to go. No, not that I've seen. Okay, it's fine. We'll um, just manage. You find your piece. Where do you keep it? I don't know. Um, just a, I've got a piece of card. Hold on a second. There we go. It's on the floor. It's probably fell down. Okay. Always um, prime your pens first. Just going in with the white pen, just highlighting some of these details on the butterfly. Just little blobs there. When it dries, it'll make all the difference. I mean, you could go in with lots of um, other colors as well, but sometimes just using the white is quite effective. Can everyone see that? I'm reading it from my hand there. Right. Okay. I'll just go around there. Sometimes you need to go back in, don't you, after it's dried, because the uh, yes, the the, the oxide is uh, colouring the white. Oh uh, yeah, it does. It always does. But just give it a second coat and. Uh, Do you know what? I, I might actually just go over it with. If I'm if it still looks a bit funny, I might just go over that with the stickles now. Mm. Do you know what? Let's do it. Sometimes if you're not happy, go over with stickles. It's actually quite nice, the paler blue coming through. Oh, right, yeah. I might have to do the white and then that on top then. I do like the cogs added to the... Uh to the circles. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's just um, do a little bit more white on these ones. I know, sorry everyone, if you wanted a quick demo tonight, it, it wasn't happening. Where's some, um, did I not stick that one down? Mm, maybe not. Oh, I've got one to stick down in a second. We'll do that next. Let me just do these. That's looking really nice actually. The, the blue is becoming so vibrant. And then the sparkle looks oh, lovely. Oh, okay. Happy accident. Close up, it say. looks lovely. We'll do a little close up afterwards. Um, I am I, subconsciously rushing this a little bit, but hopefully it will still look pretty good. Okay, now what I will do is we'll do the side as well. Shall I zoom in on that just a second? Mm hmm. Starting to get that, that does look quite good, actually. Yeah, 
like that. Pretty. Okay. Ah, Ali says it looks like opals. Oh, right, okay. It does. I didn't know. Is that the colour of opals? Mm-hmm. Why did I think opals were green? I don't know. That's, that's true, shows what I know. Well, you learn, you know what they say about learning something new every day. I actually thought opals were green. Or is that Jade's green, isn't it? Oh, jade. Sapphire's red. Yeah. But then you can get those white sapphires, which really aren't sapphires. Do they call them sapphires then? <laughs> what are you giving me? I have no idea. Huh? <laughs> I have no idea. I've never heard of a white sapphire, sorry. Yeah, I'm sure. I've heard of a black sapphire. Oh, see, there we go then. So sapphires are Maybe not... you can get white ones too. I don't know. This doesn't take long to do, does it? Just quickly go over those bits there. It is really quick to do this. It's definitely worth it, highlighting all the little details. Right, I shall go over that now. I will also just Highlight some of the other details as well on the on the butterfly. Just go along some of the wings there. Just highlighting that. How come you got a drink and I never got how come I never got a drink? <laughs> you forgot to get one. Oh, that's true. <laughs> It's my fault. Sorry. Sorry. I've always got water with me. Wherever I go. It's very warm in the studio tonight. It is very warm in the studio. Yeah, you're right. Okay, just highlighting those bits there. How's this looking now? I can't see. You know when you're looking close up and you can't see from a distance what it looks like? do the other side of the stickles. I must remember everybody, I'm sorry, sometimes when I'm taught, I, when I'm concentrating, I mumble, mumble, like mumble, and I must, I must speak up because I don't, I always forget that I'm doing something live to everybody and I have to speak kind of loud and clear, whereas when I'm on my own, I'm just kind of talking to myself. So I can I would more mumble anyway. Sorry, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Yeah, because because we we don't work in the same. Surprisingly enough, we don't actually work in the same room, do we? Nope. No. Don't even work on the same floor. No. <laughs> Unless when apart from when we're picking and packing all the orders, Mark's the picker and I'm the packer. <laughs> yeah. Make a good team, don't we? Yes. You hesitated then. What? <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, yes, of course, of course we do. That, well, there's all kinds of um, dangerous objects in the room, so I'm not going to say no, am I? Right. <laughs> nice. Nice, but it's not finished Very yet. Very pretty. Um, I'm just going to go over some of these pieces here now. I'm going to go over these. How are we doing for time? How's our time looking? We're on uh, 10 minutes until the hour so you're okay i think we're still going to be within the hour tonight that's good we tend to do a longer one on a tuesday and a quicker one on a thursday seems to be how it works out somehow that's not intention that's not intentional it just happens to be we don't plan it like that do we no but the mixed media ones are always going to take longer aren't they yeah um probably going with more of those don't afterwards forget you need to add your other cog oh yeah thank you helen where should I put this one? Probably it's going on the bottom somewhere. Oh, right. Right there. Yep, yeah, it's good. Or on. Did I decide it was going to go on there? Oh, no. that's quite nice. Okay. Decision made. There we go. The stuff dries clear anyway, so you won't see it. Okay. 
we're starting to look as though we're getting something now. Right. Um, and I think I'll stand up now, Helen. I've still got more. Oh, that was what I did. That's what I fell on the floor. Sentiment. My sentiments. It's by a little butterfly as well. Is that, uh, is that for anything? I'm not sure I'm going to use this one, actually. Let's see. What's just, what do you reckon? Maybe maybe could use it there. I like him in that circle, that bigger circle. I like him in there. What, there? Yeah, I like that. Okay. If Helen likes it, it's going <laughs> it's going on. Okay. Pretty, these pretty. are only, as I say, these are only roughly planned out shows and we just kind of go with the flow. Sometimes it works. Hopefully a lot of the time it works. Right, uh, I've also got some sentiments which I haven't decided which ones I'm going to use yet. So, we have change one thing, change everything. Every little thing you do matters, one of a kind, and of course, the awesome word butterfly. Ooh. Ooh, I'm thinking butterfly bottom right. <laughs> you, 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 your name is Helen Butterfly Bottom Right. <laughs> Everything's bottom right. Yeah, well, there's a space for it right there. <laughs> okay. Um, I do like one of a kind. Yeah, one of a kind can go on there as well. Where? Should I put three on everybody or should I put two? Hmm. God, something. This is I the. I two. Yeah, but where? I'm waiting. Some nice sentiments and black splashes and it's ready. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, black splashes. Do I, do I dare to put some black splashes? I'm not going to put black splashes live. I'm only going to splash it where I don't want it to go. So I'd have to cover everything up. They will, they will, sp I will splash everything after. Um, where do you think I should put that? Yeah, I like it there. Right, I'll edge that. I'll edge that as well. Butterfly and one of a kind. Butterfly and one of a kind together. Butterfly, one of a kind. What, like that? Hmm, I don't like that. Helen's shaking her head saying, nope, I don't like that either. <laughs> Top left, bottom right. Is, make is a that... decision and get on with it. <laughs> okay. Crack of the whip. <laughs> okay. Right, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go for white splashes later, maybe. Mm, I'm going to put some white splashes, think, yeah. yeah. I think some white splashes look nice. We'll do keep some it, Keep splashes. it light, keep it nice and light and summery. Yeah, okay. We'll do this. And di dare I do white splashes live? Yes. Shall I do it, shall I? Why not? Okay. So let's put this oh, head out the way. Sorry, everybody. Head in the way. Right, okay. We'll put that somewhere like that there. Again, I'm not matting this. I'll, I'm wanting it kind of, everything's, you know, I could have matted it, but I didn't really want to. So it kind of looks better like that. It's bright and simple. Um, I think for the that one there, we'll put the butterfly there. Are you happy with mm -hmm. that now? Yep, definitely. Okay. Oh, I nearly made a mess there. Right, there we go. Nola says go for it with the white splashes. Jeanette says yes, go for it. Splashes live. There we are. They want to Decision see me make made. a mess, don't Decisions they? Decisions made. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> yeah, but do I splash over everything or do I just kind of random around? Um, I'm not very good with, with doing this, but I, I do try. We'll see now. I think the only place you don't want them is to go is on your words, really. Okay. So let me just try. We'll see now. <laughs> Have another practice. <laughs> okay. Nice. Always gives it that lovely finishing feel. I think splatters. Um. Oh. We get in there, are we? Yeah. Cover on the butterfly, it will look nice. On the butterfly, do you think? 
I can't get them on my on my outro. I have to try that afterwards. Yeah. Cool. A little bit more there, maybe. <laughs> Jeanette's chanting, make a mess, make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Definitely gives it that finishing touch that you wanted. I did get some white on the butterfly there. That's nice. Not intentional. That's nice. There we go. It's not perfect, but when it's dry, I will probably have a little bit of a play around. Before, I t before we take a photograph of it tomorrow, yep. I will probably finish off colouring these in a little bit better than I have done tonight. But um, that's the general kind of idea anyway. Nice. That was the idea. Um, so how it came out is uh, never ever the, goes the same as what you plan it. Um, right, shall we um, say hello to everybody again? I thought we were going to show some samples. Oh, sorry, Helen. So sorry, Helen. Right, okay, let's go. You, want, you need to clean fingers. Here we go. Well, to put my dirty fingers over everything. No, I don't want to do that. Let's move this out of the way. <laughs> okay. clean we'll, this. we'll go through these quickly because uh, we're conscious of your time. Obviously, if you need to drop off now and say goodnight, then uh, we understand. We're nearly up to the hour. Yeah. But um, we do have some gorgeous, gorgeous samples, which you may or may not have seen before. We won't so, forgive you. Uh, we will forgive you. No, we won't. Yes, we will. No, we won't. <laughs> so here okay. we go. This one, right. the gorgeous one, is from Ali. Lots of lovely white space, but you can see how she's used the grunge edge stamp, the butterfly edge, and coloured in some of the butterflies yeah, and circles. Look, look at that. Glossy that's, accents on there as well. That's so cool. So, so cool. See the glossy accents on the, uh, where Ali's coloured in the circles and squares and what did butterflies. She color the, um, what did she colour the actual butterfly in with? This one's on the website, I believe. Um, I do it's, know. It's got a great shimmer I to it. I do know, and I can't think. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, next one. Okay, if you can pass that one back to me a second, oh, sorry. sorry, because I think... I'm being very careful, I don't Pixie I don't powders. Ah. Pixie powders in golden mint and peacock green. Okay, this gorgeous one is by um, Elaine. Um, and again, using the Grunge Edge stamp, just to make a really beautiful, clean and simple card with our mother def definition there. It's great, And isn't just it? the little tiny butterfly. That is but that stamp, this. How quickly you can make such a lovely card. Yeah. Beautiful. And a bit of faux stitch in there, around the edges. Beautiful. Next. Then we've got something a little bit more mixed media. Ooh. This is by Leanne. Again, our mother sentiment and um, the butterflies embossed in white onto some MDF. Coloured, loads of sparkle. Oh, that's... Really beautiful. Isn't it? Oh, there's some gl lovely glossy accents there. Yeah. I, I, in fact, I probably do some glossy accents so sort of on one mine. extreme to the other. You can go full yeah. on as much as you want or you can go really clean and simple with these stamps. That's gorgeous. Then we have one from the lovely Linda with a jelly print, a circular jelly print. Really, really pretty, and again, that circle stamp. I love the way she's just take, you know stamped parts of it yes. in the circle. That's very effective. And more isn't glossy it? accents. Everyone's a fan of glossy accents, aren't they? That's yeah. gorgeous by Linda. Next this one. one, going through these quite quickly, but lots of them are on the website, so do check them out. This is a gorgeous one by Jane. Mm. Jane's actually teamed it with our Where Flowers Bloom set, so the big that's flowers great, yeah. and the cotton real, uh, the cotton. That's uh, an extra stamp, stamp, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a stamp. That's amazing. Really beautiful, and lots of background stamping in there, as you can yeah. see. Yeah, that is, that is too good. And then we have another one by this is by Jill. Oh wow! I love this one as well. On this... a jelly print background, and then she's uh, stamped the circles. And then uh, obviously layered the butterfly down on top. That's absolutely beautiful. Look how so cool Jill, that Jill is. So Jill stamped the butterfly onto a jelly print and cut it out. But it's got so much shimmer and oh, it's just lovely. Wow. Then we have another very clean and simple one by Elaine. This oh. one was very popular when we shared this on Instagram. Um, just beautiful with the shading of the gold circles against the vibrant blue. Every single thing you do matters. Yeah. Very true. Beautiful, isn't yep. it? Yep. Amazing. Very nice. Love it. It's nice to show all the different ways that our design team have interpreted the stamps. Another one by Ali here, who was going through a very gorgeous green uh, phase. Green and gold. That's amazing. So again, pixie powders there with loads and loads of shimmer. And uh, oh, just beautiful. And those circles in white wow. look gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wonder how long it takes to make something like this. I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could make something time. like this. Wow. Next, we have another one from the lovely Linda. Wow. And this is gorgeous. Some pinks and yellows. And uh, she's actually used the butterfly edging stamp in white uh -huh. around the black, 
around the background, giving yes. a kind of chalkboardy kind of feel. That's great, isn't it? And uh, yeah, just beautiful colours and lots of shimmer again. Oh wow! Okay. Very nice. Then we have this one, which I know this one's definitely in our intro video. This is by the lovely Leanne. And stamp the circles on uh, some book pages there. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous colours and just lovely, lovely, so, lovely composition. Love those deep pinks and and uh, the uh, the butterfly ink stencils in there as well in the oh, background. Oh, of course, yes, yeah, beautiful. Okay. And we have another one from Linda. This one's got our heavy rain stencil coming down to so give it a feel of a, like a summer Ooh. rain day. And look at the glossy accents on that big circle there. That's and all the shimmer and sparkle. It looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah. One That's... of a kind and mother, you see. They go brilliantly together. Yes, yes. Perfect. And then we'll finish off with one last one. This is a gorgeous canvas oh. by the lovely Jane. Lots involved here. I think she's used all the stamps in the set. Um, brilliantly here, all the edging, all the butterflies highlighted, lots of inky drips and glossy accents. That's amazing. Really, really gorgeous. Love it. Love a rainbow. Yes. So. Project. So, hope you enjoyed seeing those. Sorry we flew through them. <laughs> yes. And we're back. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're always conscious of your time. We don't like to keep you much past an hour. And uh, often it's uh, more near a half an hour, isn't yes. it? Depending what the demo is. So. Yeah. I so, shall, uh, tomorrow I shall, well, to later on tonight, I will finish off those bits and um, it'll look totally different by tomorrow. <laughs> yes, so um, oh. thank you so much for your time this evening. Yes. Um, we do hope you have enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back on Thursday, same time, yep. same place. But look forward to tomorrow's uh, new video. Oh yeah, new video, yes. yes. It's just a pre-recorded video, so that'll be, that'll be nice to watch. Just a few minutes long. And uh, there are lots of new projects on social media as well. And a new video from Jen on our Facebook page and on our blog. So uh, do check that out too. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So behind the scenes, we are very, busy, very busy. busy. So <laughs> thank you again. And your support means everything to us. It does uh, indeed. So uh, take care and we will see you on... On Thursday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have a nice rest of your evening and take care of yourselves. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye.